It's spring! Oh my gosh, it's spring! I am in pink and florals. Yes! Okay. I'm just so excited because it's spring anyways. <laughs> so today I'm actually talking about another research that I did. So this episode is all about what other oils, what other carrier oils are best combined with castor oil so that we get the best benefit from these oils. Because you see, castor oil is very thick. It is so thick, it's so hard to apply. I tell you, I've been applying castor oil for almost two months now, one and a half months. And I found a way to make it really smooth when I'm applying it. And so I did a research as to, okay, what other oils do we have in our cupboards, in our kitchen cupboards, bathroom cabinets, that we can actually combine with castor oil so that we make the most of these products during the same amount of time, we save time, and then we use all the benefits. This is what I have for you now. And again, I put together this research in a PDF file, so if you want a cheap sheet you want something that you can post on your wall just email me at wishuponapond at gmail.com and I will send you that list in a heartbeat welcome to my channel everyone happy Happy, happy spring. My name is Jackie D. If this is your first time, thank you for visiting my channel. I hope that you can subscribe to my channel and enjoy this episode. And to all of you returning subscribers and followers, I truly appreciate you for your never ending support. Thank you for watching the ads. Your support helps me keep this channel running as I fund my researches, my music, my add-ons and things like that so that I can come up with a good, dynamic, interactive, exciting video. I try to make it animated also because this is me. This is me. Okay, I'm all pink. Uh, pink is my favorite color too. As you can tell. <laughs> okay, here we go. There are so many oils around and I'm sure that some of you already have these oils in your bathroom cabinets or kitchen cabinets or drawers or wherever they are kept in the dark. And some of you already may have castor oil. I have like three videos about castor oil because definitely if it's something good, I want to share it. I want to share it with the world. If it helped me, I have a feeling it might help you. And I know that's why you're here, because you expect to get something out of this video. And I will give you the information that you're looking for. Are you excited? Stay tuned, because we're going to talk about these oils. They are not in particular order, but I will tell you the benefits of these oils. And you know, it's also because there are products that cannot be combined. You probably know that. A lot of our dermatologists tell you, use this, but not with this. Use this, but not with that. You know, things like that, because I guess they conflict or they become useless. Here are the oils. Number one, and I love putting this in my coffee. It gives a nutty flavor, coconut oil. Coconut oil can be mixed with castor oil. Again, because castor oil is so thick. It's like pancake syrup, really thick. I have my castor oil. I haven't gotten another brand yet. I'm planning to get another brand because the castor oil I have, which is Queen of the Thrones, is not cold pressed because I was in a rush and that's why I did that research and that's why I'm sharing that research with everyone because you don't want to be in a rush when you're buying a product. Whether or not it's affordable, the fact is we lose time because we're trying it and then after a month we go like, ah, oh, it's not cold pressed. So now I have to order and I have to wait. But in the meantime, I'm using it. It's still better than those that went through heat in the process of extracting the oil, right? I've also been sharing some with my friends at work, especially my friends who I know have pains here and there, like my rotor cuff injury, which healed when I applied castor oil, even if this is expeller pressed overnight. Like I went to the emergency February 25th and February 26th evening I applied because I wanted to go to the gym. I never wanted to stop and I didn't stop. I still went to the gym and that day 27th I was able to actually raise my arm like I'm racing now. When I went to the emergency and the day before that 
this was practically immobile and paralyzed and this was already numb this is a recurring injury but thanks to castor oil this is not a paid episode i just love the product and that's why i'm sharing it with you so why is it good to mix this with coconut oil and i have coconut oil coconut oil is renowned for its deep moisturizing properties it helps combat dryness and nourish the hair and skin when combined with castor oil this dynamic duo can enhance hydration levels leaving your hair and skin feeling soft supple and rejuvenated the fatty acids in coconut oil also support hair health by preventing protein loss making it an excellent choice for those looking to achieve luscious locks i remember because my grand aunt always applied this coconut oil extract on her scalp for as long as i remember i was i was probably grade five i would see her do that and she was in her like late 60s or 70s and i tell you behind if you see her from behind she has long black straight hair oh my gosh i was so envious i was like mm, 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 mm. but you see her face she was a grandma jowls and wrinkles and blemishes and eye bags she didn't care about her face but her hair was amazing i obviously didn't pick up on that because i never did it oh just imagine if i did it right so coconut oil well organic coconut oil is in solid form you can heat it a little bit in the microwave so that it melts and then you mix it with your castor oil that combination you keep it in a smaller glass amber bottle store it because also you don't want to keep opening your huge bottle because each time you open you're exposing the oil to chemicals pollutants and the air and all of that stuff what's the ratio for coconut oil and castor oil one is to one next oil that you can mix with castor oil at the same time and enjoy the benefits vitamin e oil you know vitamin e is really perfect for your skin dermatologists say that if you have only one kind of vitamin that you can afford to buy or have in your closet for your skin vitamin e is what they say we should have what fruit is rich in vitamin e papaya i have two kinds of papaya products one is my own homemade papaya mask i ripe papaya i mash it i put honey and lemon keep it in the fridge i just have half a teaspoon because it's really thick and then i spread it on my face about twice a month it's one of my dinosauric skincare techniques one of my old ones that i learned from my mom i have this virgin papaya seed oil and oh my gosh i was just reading it this is cold pressed unrefined oh, i didn't even know about this because i bought this months ago before i learned about castor oil so i have a cold pressed unrefined papaya seed oil which is very rich in vitamin e so this is not this doesn't say vitamin e oil because there are vitamin e oils papaya is rich in vitamin e and papain so i'm gonna mix this with my castor oil just a waiver though i am not a dermatologist i'm not a doctor i'm not an esthetician i'm not a medical practitioner but i do a lot of research before i put products on my face and on my skin and at my age i'm 62 years old i can tell you i've tried things i've experienced allergies i've experienced things that cause my skin to get irritated more or less i'm very careful with what i use and when i know it works for me and it's because i've tested it for months then i talk about it so that what helps me may hopefully help you make sure to ask someone you trust make sure to talk to your doctor or your dermatologist or any friend your friend eh, that can understand skin right to make sure it's good for your skin let's see what this papaya seed oil has ingredients papaya oil so this is pure and you know it's really thick anything that i have i shake first because the first bottle of papaya seed oil that i used i was never shaking it right so it was clear nice blah 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 and then when I got to the half of it, it was already so thick and it was so hard. It's not as thick as 
castor oil. In my PDF, I'm going to mention there a list of uh, good sources of vitamin E oil. Otherwise, he, these are the benefits of mixing vitamin E oil with castor oil. Vitamin E oil is a powerhouse antioxidant that promotes skin health by neutralizing free radicals and supporting cell regeneration. When combined with castor oil, it adds an extra layer of protection against environmental damage, making it an ideal elixir for promoting health and radiant skin. The combination of vitamin E oil with castor oil can also contribute to a healthier scalp reducing oxidative stress and supporting the overall well-being of your hair. Mix one tablespoon of castor oil with six drops of vitamin E oil. So I'm going to talk about the ratios as well because we want to make sure that they don't overpower each other. Next oil that you can mix with castor oil to make it really beneficial for your skin and hair is tea tree oil. I know that tea tree oil is very dangerous for dogs. That's why I don't have that because I have a dog. What are the benefits of combining tea tree oil with castor oil? Tea tree oil is known for its antibacterial and antifungal properties. It's a fantastic addition to castor oil for those seeking a cleansing boost. Your tea tree oil and castor oil together will create a powerful solution for addressing dandruff, dry scalp, and even acne-prone skin. For those with skin conditions, problems with skin, acne and all, combining tea tree oil and castor oil provides a gentle and effective solution for promoting clearer and healthier skin. What's the ratio? Two tablespoons of castor oil with five drops of tea tree oil. The good thing about combining these oils is because castor oil is very thick. You want to have a good enjoyable experience applying it. The first time I applied it, oh my gosh, it's like a slab of glue of pancake syrup I put on my face and it was very hard to spread. So I made sure I mixed it with jojoba oil. I have my own jojoba oil which I mix with my castor oil. I love jojoba oil and jojoba oil is more liquid. It's not as thick. Personally, this is what I use to lighten the consistency of my castor oil. Jojoba oil is very good for your skin, for your hair, for your nails, and this is pure and organic. You know, all of these seeds, plant seeds and all, are honestly very helpful because, you know, back in the day when the world was not industrialized and there was not much chemical processing, people hunted for things. They hunted for food. That's why I follow the paleo diet. You know, you eat whatever, you eat whole foods. That was how people lived before. And God knows how they took care of their skin. And now we're just discovering that the less refined something is, the less processed something is, the less heat applied to a product is, the healthier it is for our skin, our scalp. Next oil is argan oil. You know what argan oil is referred to? Liquid gold. Liquid gold. We have collagen all the way until we get older, but it's depleted because we're not taking care of collagen. Doctors say that the moment you're in your 20s, your collagen starts to drop dramatically. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Had I known, I would have already started to take care of my skin using sunblock and all of these oils because they've been here like castor oil has been here for 200 years and because we're all focused on buying these chemical skincare products we forget that the organic products are actually very very effective and cheaper too cheaper so let's see what argan oil combined with castor oil can do for our skin Argan oil is renowned for its nourishing and moisturizing properties. When mixed with castor oil, this combination becomes a luxurious elixir that deeply penetrates hair and skin, providing essential nutrients and promoting overall 
health. Argan oil's high content of vitamin E and fatty acids makes it a superb choice for adding shine to hair. So it protects your hair from frizz, it improves your skin elasticity. I'm gonna also put the link here as to where I got all of this information, so credit to them. See, the reason why it's good to have this list is because you don't have to buy all of these other oils to mix with your castor oil. You have one or two or even just one, that's good. Because the thing is, we want to dilute the castor oil as much as we can because we want to be able to apply it nice and easy. It depends really on what you need for your skin, what you have and what's available in the market for you, whether you buy online or from the store nearby, choose whatever is best for your skin. You know, avocado oil is something that we might even have to consider because I know avocado is rich in vitamin E as well. Just so many. And again, see, these are vegetables, these are fruits, definitely very organic. What's the ratio? You mix one part castor oil with two parts of argan oil. So one is to two. Next, lavender oil. Oh, don't you just love the smell of lavender oil? Of lavender itself. It's very therapeutic just smelling the bloom. Even just the branches, the leaves. It's healing. Lavender is very relaxing. Now, what are the benefits when we combine these two oils? So when combined with castor oil, you somehow get the calming and relaxing experience. You know, when I went for my massage, I made sure that the, the attendant used lavender when she did my body massage because, you know, you can just really go to sleep, literally. Lavender oil promotes a healthy scalp and then it also reduces dandruff and itchiness of the scalp. It definitely has antibacterial properties, so it's the perfect choice for minor skin irritations. Unlike the other oils which do not carry any specific aroma, you can guarantee that lavender oil is going to give you a spa-like experience. And you have this one little candle lit, lavender candle, and dim light, and music, and then you just like enjoy, pamper yourself, heal yourself, relax. Ratio, what's the ratio? You have one to two drops of lavender oil per teaspoon of castor oil. So it's probably gonna still be thick, but it's spa-like. Another oil, rosemary oil. So this is my rosemary oil. This is specifically for hair. So I mix this with my castor oil and then I massage it into my scalp. This is glass too. Remember, when you get your castor oil, and I have a PDF, if you didn't, if you didn't watch my video featuring the top 20 castor oil brands that I researched, let me know, send me an email, wishuponapond at gmail.com, and I'll send you the PDF. Because very important, when you buy your castor oil, it has to be bottled in glass, amber, bottle. What are the benefits when we combine rosemary oil with castor oil? Castor oil is rich in resinoleic acid and omega-6 fatty acids, and it can increase the blood flow to the scalp, leading to stronger and thicker hair. So if you combine it with rosemary oil, which is known for what it does for hair, you can just imagine the anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial benefits that can help improve your scalp and promote hair growth. So if you have any of these oils in your cupboard and then you have castor oil, you got the magic combination. Ratio. Add 90 mils of castor oil as a base oil in an empty bottle and then put 5 mils of rosemary oil in it. Now again, our skin varies, our skin types vary. Your skin, your scalp will be different from my scalp, from her scalp, his scalp, our neighbor's scalp. So always do things slowly. When you're trying to experiment, do it slowly. But those combination ratios, make sure to follow them and You'll see the links in the description below because you don't want to overuse, you don't want to put too much, and you want to make sure that after you apply this oil, you wash your, especially your scalp, 
you wash it thoroughly and cleanse it because you know you don't want residues and they become old you always want fresh oil anyway so after you know that the oil has already sipped and stayed on your skin for a long time then you can definitely wash it off and then just apply a new one again i hope you've already liked this episode if you found it helpful and you haven't yet please do so share and comment let me know if there are oils that we can consider please share in the comments because those who will read the comments will learn from you and i learn a lot from you and i want to thank you all for contributing for your feedback for your questions because they trigger a research <laughs> i love doing research and some people will just look through listen to someone who's showing them and then buy and that's why i try to do my research so that i can provide you with the right information and then you can make a good sound decision when you buy your products right don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms i have instagram at the real d TikTok at the real D, my Facebook page, building self-esteem on social media, because that's our goal. We want to find our best version. We want to keep growing. We want to keep on improving ourselves because every day is an opportunity for us to be good, to be better, to glow, to shine, especially when we're older. We don't want to reject ourselves. We don't want to take ourselves for granted just because we're older. I think that the older we get, the more we should take care of ourselves because we lose a lot of hormones. So we want to make sure we're eating healthy. And again, all of these things we put on our skin, except for castor oil, which has resinolic acid that allows it to penetrate to the skin. Everything else I would say is very topical good skin glowing skin a healthy body a healthy mind they all start with a healthy lifestyle healthy food exercise lots of water good sleep gratitude gratitude is something we cannot measure but if we wake up with gratitude every single day we're going to have a definitely positive day ahead of us thank you for watching I appreciate you joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post a lot of informative content based on my experience, based on my story, based on my research. Hopefully, they can help you and provide you with the information you're looking for. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Enjoy your day. You take care. Bye for now. I love how you look